When people become Christians, they not only enter into a personal relationship with God, but they also join his family, the church. The church is often understood as meaning a particular building in the locality, set aside for public worship. But more than anything else, the church is the people of God, a group of people living in a particular social context of time and place. Like any such group, it can't avoid having structures and allocating power. Church politics are an inevitable consequence of the historical character of the church, even if they've often also served to illustrate the weaknesses inherent in any institution. The church in the New Testament is described as the body of Christ. This term highlights the relationship between Christ and his church, where Christ is the head of the church and the church is his body. New Testament teaching about the nature of the church has been adapted to differing historical, cultural and political situations. Inevitably, the form the church takes varies as circumstances change. The church, then, isn't just a theoretical idea, but a body of real people with all the richness and diversity this brings. Divisions within the church over the centuries have led to many branches and movements within Christianity. Yet Christians today emphasize a spiritual unity which transcends these divisions. The Christian church began in Palestine. For many centuries, its center of gravity lay in the eastern Mediterranean basin. This then shifted to Western Europe. And as European Christians moved to other continents, they took the church with them. Although during recent decades the church in Western Europe has been in decline, it's become very strong in both North and South America and Christianity has become the major religion of Africa. Growth in Asia has been somewhat slower, although one of the fastest growing churches in the world today is in China. In 2000 years, the Christian church has reached almost every corner of the globe, and its influence continues to spread.